You know that at least 15 school counselors, psychologists, and social workers were on hand here at the elementary school today. We also know that this letter was sent home to parents by the principal, urging parents to talk to their kids about what happened. How do you begin to talk about a tragedy of this magnitude with children? I don't think it's really sunk in for the kids yet. Lisa Satellino is one of many parents with kids at Gilderland Elementary School dealing with just that. So we were honest with her and we told her that there was, you know, there was a tragic incident that happened. The support Satellino's fourth grader got at home continued at school, where more than 15 counselors, psychologists, and social workers were helping kids throughout the day. She just said that there were there was a police officer at school that was um, patrolling the, the hallways. There was also a sealed letter sent home with students that briefed parents about what was happening. The specifics about the two young victims, thin, only identifying them as a second and a fifth grader. We can tell them that a, a terrible crime was committed someplace close to our school. Gilderland superintendent says the staff met for 45 minutes to discuss how to approach each grade level. Because we have children as young as four in that building and as old as 11. In some classrooms, there may be no discussion whatsoever. I, I pray that in our kindergarten classrooms, we don't have to be talking about this today. But child psychologists say don't ignore your kids' questions. Answer them and assure them that people are out there to keep them safe. We just felt like we needed to um, help them understand that life goes on too and that it's okay. It's okay to be sad, it's okay to be afraid, and that, you know, mom and dad are here to take care of you. And this tragedy obviously so difficult for adults as well. The superintendent tells me that there was help on hand today for teachers and staff that are going through all of this as well. Greg, send it back to you. Kimberly, thank you very much for that. I can give you one more.